What's up guys, welcome to another fishing video. Today we'll be fishing on the Freedom. Uh, it's gonna be a day and a half. We're fishing uh, Cortez. So we're gonna be running all the way out there. It's around like 10 o'clock right now. So we're just gonna jam it over there as quick as we can. But we're getting bait right now, we're at the bait dock. The game plan is to go after some rockfish in the afternoon. And when it gets dark, go after some bluefin and then jam it back home. So if you guys haven't already, click the like button, subscribe, comment if you guys have any questions. But without further ado, we're gonna get baited up and start fishing. So after a whole day of driving around and not being able to locate fighting fish, we finally moved over to the bluefin grounds after doing a little bit of rock fishing. So hopefully at night the bluefin decide to bite and we have an epic night bite. And in the meanwhile, we're just gonna be boating around and trying to find some daytime biters. So let's see what can we find. Right now it's like, it's around sundown. So we're almost to the night bite. Let's hope everything starts biting. So we're stopping on our first stop of the night. We have about two hours of fish. Let's see what we can do here. Starting to come back through here, guys. 250 feet. Uh, 300. What kind of you got? Uh, 112. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hello. starting to pull back through right at 250 here. Wrong way, wrong way. You gotta work with me, dude. Sorry. Oh, no. Go over, go over. 
over it's over up. Is it isn't back though, it's back you're up. Under the, you're under the so it's hard to smoke their deep right here. Here you guys. 300 out of 360. Come in there good again. Come in there really good. 300 out of 360. I lose. I. Yeah. Oh, I feel. Dry. I feel. Uh, yeah. I'm not my leader. Come down. Guys, Come down. follow your lines. If you're scoped out way out there, wind in and reset. Coming up. Over you guys. Over you guys. Going under the boat, bro. Well, I need. I backed up. Grab the Y. Take the corner. Uh,
Look, you guys. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you, you guys. Up, guys. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, on the, oh, on the HD, on the free jig, <laughs> the giveaway jig. Yeah. I just landed mine and they got another one at Gaff. There's my fish right there. They got another one at Gaff. Can't see you yet, but Roddy's on the rod and rail. Oh yeah, I got heavier jig. Sorry. How's that thing doing, sir? She's on it. Is that your fish? Yes. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. All you need to do is get this yellow line off the guys and we're done. Nice one, David. This is why you don't use top hooks. This one's smaller than that one, and this one took longer. Top hook, no good, part two. Top hook, no good. <laughs> Yes, sir. Tyler's hooked up. Let's go, Tyler. 300 gram wiggle rider. Is it? Yeah. Nature Boy gets bit. I backed the drag off a little bit. How deep? That's why you're. <laughs> How deep? He's getting kind of ragged. Uh, when, when I hit that yellow, <laughs> I stopped my wind back. As soon as it started going, he went straight to the rails. <laughs> yeah, that's tight drag. Tight that was drag. tight and straight. Back it off just a little bit. How many we got going back there? Is our window back there? Yeah, right at the, a little bit past the yellow, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're at 300 feet out right now. Well, I got him. Yes, sir. Good job. That's two, uh, 
Let's do jigging, jigging rod hookups, Rod. Oh yeah. Let's go. It's a good night. We just got to the zone. Now we're getting bit. Yes, sir. That's my go-to color this this year. I mean, it's like a it's a classic color, but it's when been you, working pretty good for me this year. When you outfish me on the dog. <laughs> Yeah. Marking at 250 is always tough. Yeah. That's, it up, that's why I like the more colors instead of just having it 100 because, you know, like from from 200 to 300, that's still a lot of water column. Yeah. It's also nice too that, you know, like every three colors is about 100 feet. Yeah, so yeah. Even if you lose track where you are, you can still count. Them. Exactly. 100 feet. 100 feet. <laughs> every three colors. Yeah. If you, yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm gonna call my lawyer when I get back to the dock. So <laughs> Personal injury. Just smack. Hurt the galley cook. Wine, 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 wine. Wine, wine. Still is it, is it, there. Is it, is it, yeah. Charging, charging. Are you He's still there. there. Coming down, guys. Coming down, guys. Watch your rods. Got boogers on your line. There he is. There he is. Side hook. No, he's stuck behind. Oh, another handoff. I just wanted to get settled in. Turn him, Dave. Turn him. Show him who's boss. Once I get him past the pole. David's putting in some serious work tonight. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, guys. Hey. Let's go. Jigging rock gets bit. Nice job, guys. Uh, that's a small one. <laughs> Big enough for me. Big enough to party. 
Nice job. Is that another one? Okay. Gill and gutting this one. What are you using next stop, David? Banana. Banana. I'm banana. Not, not. <laughs> banana we trust. 300 gram KB. Banana. So that pretty much wraps up my video. I landed one big bluefin, probably like around like 150. It was pretty fat. And we tried doing some yellowtail fishing. I couldn't connect, but we did grab a bunch of rockfish. So I'm really happy about that. So overall, this was a pretty cool trip. I got to spend it with the crew of the Freedom. They're really chill. So if you guys need a good overnight boat or a day and a half boat in the LA area, then the Freedom is your go-to boat. But if you guys haven't already, click the like button, subscribe, and comment if you guys have any questions about bluefin fishing. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.